Heroes and heroines of all ages, when the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1-Up Block. My name is Dan, the man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Now, I did the dirty work of getting everything else off screen. I had to go talk to the sun, get the water, and now we're talking to him again. Huh? What was I doing? Uh, it's already this late. Yeah, we already heard this. Okay, hello. No matter how long you follow me, any, any good. Okay, now he's going to talk. Because we tell him about his son, he's going to actually listen to us. What? My son is crying because he misses me. Why do you know that? My son misses me. Ugh, forgive me, my child. Your father has work to do. Darmani, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination, I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my son to sleep with this song I am about to play on my drum. It is very... It is the very same melody that was often played for you when you were young. How does this song go? Huh? Let me play it once more. <laughs> you forgot how to play the song. Um. Yes, yes, like this. <laughs> it's no good. I can only remember the beginning. I'll just teach you the beginning. Alright. Ta-da! Lullaby intro. Alright, so that wasn't much of a song, but we... <laughs> We learned it, and Link is just going at those drums, dude. You've learned the lullaby intro, the soothing melody of the thoughtful father. It's not that I forgot it, it's just so cold that I can't play very well. At any rate, I'm counting on you. Alright, so now we can actually go back and uh, calm down the little guy. Oh, come on, you douche. Alright, I'm out. I'm out, Wolfo. I'm not playing with you. I'm not in the mood. Alright, so now we're back in Snow Point. Uh, we can actually go talk to this Deku over here. He w we could get a heart piece from him, like I said before, if I had the deed, but I don't. Thanks for stopping by. I'm, go I'm doing business with a focus on Goron clientele, and that, sir, makes you a customer. Right now, I've got a special trade-in offer just for you. I'll give you the biggest bomb bag, regular price at 1,000 rupees. In return, you'll give me your big bomb bag and just 200 rupees. Do you want it? Hell yeah, I do. I collected rupees off uh, screen. So, now we've got the biggest bomb bag. Thanks again. Did we need it? No. But I got it anyway because, hell, why not? So now, we need to go in here. Oh, well, that was... I don't know what the hell happened there, but... You know, I like stopping my ground pounds halfway through the animation, too. It's just it's just something I like to do, man, you know? You just gotta, gotta go with the groove. Oh, balls. All right, let's go. So, yeah, we kind of don't need the bunny hood anymore because rolling is really fast. All right, you little twerp. Uh. And... He's gonna finish the song for us. That song, that's the song Daddy always plays for me before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. Seriously, he forgot right in A. Alright, that was touching. Now he's finally going to sleep. Mmm, it's just like daddy's. Right beside me. <sighs> it's easy, it's easy, it's easy, it's easy. 
The lullaby intro became the Goron's lullaby. This lullaby blankets listeners into a calm, into, ah, in calm. This lullaby blankets listeners in calm while making eyelids grow heavy. That, is that? <laughs> the other Gorons fell asleep too. All right, and also these torches lit up, which means now we can actually take our, our Deku stick, which I think there's extras in here if we need it. So, all right, take a Deku stick and run. Actually, you know what? What would be a great idea to have right here? Equip the old bunny hood. Bunny hood will make this a lot easier on you. So we're going to want to go kablam, kablam. But you don't want your deck to stick to... Oh! Son of a bitch. Alright, let's try this. Take out the... Go, 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 go. I don't know how long I actually have, so... Running along this wall. Bunny hood helps make this a lot easier than it actually is. So, I mean, if you've got the bunny hood, uh, if you got it out of order like I did, then you should have the bunny hood, so. Alright, that's lit. That's lit. And that's lit. Alright, I did it. Good. So, I think the bunny hood actually made that, was the factor that made it sure, made sure I got that. Alright, but now we can, uh, I'll just, I'll just keep it equipped for right now. Oh boy. All right. I'm still feeling a little weird. I don't know what it is. Am I sick? I think I'm still sick. I don't know. I'm not still sick. I, I think I'm getting sick. I was sick yesterday, and that's why I didn't record anything, but I, I still think I'm feeling a little odd. Maybe I'm hungry. I don't know. Could be the fact. All right. Don't need to see the scene. So now that those things are rotating, we can actually do what we did before and uh, get a little rolling start, and then we can... Boom! Alright, that's one. We have to do this four times. Seriously. Oh boy. So this is gonna be entertaining. Eh. I probably... You know what? I'm just gonna skip it. I'll, I'll skip ahead to when I actually do this. So, uh, I'll see you guys when I... No, I don't want to talk to you. I'll see you when I see you. Alright, so we didn't actually have to do it four times. We just had to hit the right one. And we've got it. What do we have here? It's a piece of... A piece? A piece of, uh... Rock sirloin, I think is what they called it. Which is, it's a rock. It's a rock piece of meat. So we can actually use this to finish off a quest that we, uh, didn't really start. You don't have to start it. Uh, we talked to him. Uh, if you recall, there's a Goron that's really hungry and he's, like, freezing on top of a mountain somewhere. So that's why, what we have to take this to, which is a really far way back. And unfortunately, I'm taking the longest route possible. Uh, I'm pretty sure only Goron Link can hit, lift this up, so... You're gonna have to use him. You can't use Bunny Hood Link, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Oh, so now we just have to we have to make our way over to. You know what? I'm not gonna make you watch this. I'll be right back again. I apologize. All right, guys. So uh, back over here in the uh, the mountain village, I believe it's called. It's a place with uh, the Gabora, whatever the guys who do the sword stuff. This guy up here wants the uh, wants the piece of meat, you guys. So throw it up to him. The, that's it. It's it's so good that I dream about ah, it's so good that I dream about it. Dodongo Caverns finest quality rock sirloin. Okay, it's rock sirloin. This is my absolute favorite. Bless the bless be this meal. Oh, my energy has returned to me. I am coming down now. Wait a moment. Seriously, all I had to do was roll off. Oh, I wondered who it might who it might be. Why, if it isn't Darmani, you're... alive? Yes, I see. This is the reason why you knew my favorite food. Oh, I almost forgot. Please accept this the token of, as a token of my gratitude. He gives us the frog hat that was on top of his head. It's the Don Gero, or Don Gero's mask. It looks like Don Gero, conductor of the frog choir. I, it, ah, it was crafted so well that no one would even think twice if you were to direct the frog choir. I hope that spring will come soon so that I can hear the frog's enthusiastic performance. Hope as I might, it's still cold. I'm going back to Goron Village. Alright! So, with that out of the way, we have a new mask. Uh, we can't actually use this yet, but if you recall, there's a bunch of frogs all over the place. You actually have to use the Don Ghetto's mask to call them all back to this place. Uh, but not right now, obviously, because it's frozen over. But... Later on, we can go collect a lot of frogs, and I, it's a side quest. It's not really... You don't need to do it, but you can, you know what I mean? 
But uh, all right, it's already halfway through the first night, so we still have two days to finish this dungeon, which is what we're heading to now. We're heading to Snow Point. Snowhead, Snow Point, I think it's Snow Point, what does it say? Warning, close to the general public and those who cannot perform the Goron Jump. Goron Jump is just when uh, when you hit the, oh shit, ah! All right, I didn't really need to worry about that. Goron Jump is when you hit a ramp, when you're in spike form and you go over it like that. Holy crap, that was close. You break the uh, boulders while you're in Goron. Oh no. Oh boy, that's gonna miss. Bye bye, I die. All right, so that was a failure if I ever done seen one. So now we're gonna have to do this all over again. The Goron roll is really iffy in a lot of dumb places, so you know you gotta get used to it. I get the magic. It's magic, magic, magic. No, no, no. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I hit the... Oh, hey. Magic came out of the tree. <laughs> Alright, that's nice. Alright, but here's Snowhead. Snowhead Temple? I guess it's Snowhead Temple. Alright. Let's take this off. Activate the owl. Because we are going to have to come back here eventually I think so you know might as well get the owl while we can and as you can see there's this wind what's that there's something in the middle of the blizzard that can I can't see can you see it All right so we can't actually go this way because there's a Goron who's well I just spoiled it but <laughs> if we use our lens of truth okay you can actually see there's a Goron sitting over there and he's like sneezing or blowing wind or some shit but we can't actually go that way, but if we put on the Goron's mask and we take out our old drum set, what was it? Uh, nope. Did it. If we play the Goron's lullaby, we'll actually be able to put the Goron to sleep. And he just appears out of nowhere for no apparent reason. I don't know why he was invisible in the first place. Sorry, took a swig of my Fanta. There he goes. And we just killed an innocent Goron. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's fine. He's fine, guys. All right, so you can roll across this as uh, in ball form, and it's actually kind of hard to just do this in one. Yeah, see, I fell off. Uh, it just puts you back here, though. So it's hard to just roll across this because of how narrow it is and it's kind of annoying oh, oh come on it bounced me off that was duty that was duty all right so just had to stay kind of to an edge oh boy all right you gotta roll up this and ta-da we're here yeah there's probably no way i'm gonna actually make it all the way to the top from here but i'm gonna give it my best shot really hard to do that oh no oh oh, oh 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 balls wait I'm still going oh no I'm not I'm out of mana son of a bitch oh shit ah! get out of here Ugh. all right that's not working oh I killed him in one shot yeah the Goron's punches hurt like crap too so that's that's also happening oh come on I'm rolling how does that not hurt them <sighs> okay. So, don't you dare hit me again. I'm so slow. Jesus, roll, Goron. I'm not even going to worry about trying to get up there in one shot. That's not my deal. Brah. All right. No. No. All right. So, I'm just going to I'm going to kind of roll up here, but only a little bit. I'm not going to actually I don't think I actually need to roll through here. Okay. Check that out. We made it to the top. With a little bit of effort. And this is the temple. The uh, the fairy's den is like right outside of the... Actually, I think it's on the bottom. It's on the bottom. Ah, oh, shoot! Uh, go, go into ball form. And then stomp it. Kaboom. Yeah. What you got? You ain't got shit. Alright. But, uh... 
Hmm, this is kind of big. It's gonna take more than the average strength to move than average strength to move this. Yeah, we need to be the Goron to do that. But uh yeah, we're in Snow we're in uh, we're in Snowhead Temple, but uh that's all the time we have for this episode. A hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue to tackle the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Later days, everybody!